This question requires a front view and top view, which they've already given to us. So I'm going to draw that out first quickly before getting to the required right view on cutting plane AA. Okay, now that those two views are drawn, you'll see that I've added in uh, my two XY lines because we're now going to go and have a look at drawing that sectional right view, which comes over here next to my front view. Because remember, we're drawing in third angle orthographic projection, so the right view will go here. And then you'll see that I've also drawn in the cutting plane AA. Okay, and we've also got to just go and draw in our 45 degree line which we're going to draw over here next to our top view which we're going to use to help project our, to get our sectional right view over there now for a sectional right view if you look carefully here at our front view you'll see where our cutting plane has indicated arrows okay that cutting plane then tells us that this part over here underneath my set square where the arrows are coming from, that's the part that's being cut off. And we're now going to draw a right view of that solid shape with this piece cut away. So we've got to go and imagine now what are we going to be able to see on the inside of this shape, which we normally wouldn't be able to see from an outside view here. Well, if you look carefully, you're going to be able to see on the inside of the circle over here, okay, on the inside of that hole, you're going to be able to see inside there. You're also going to be able to see inside of the other piece of this hole here, which you can see here in the top view. You're going to see inside that, inside there, and inside there. The other thing that you must note is because you're cutting this off, you're not going to be able to see this little hole over here, and that one's going to be at the back, so it's going to be in hidden detail. But the other thing you will be able to see is you're going to be able to see inside this gap over here, because when this is cut away, there's nothing stopping you from seeing into that gap there. So, let's go and have a look now as to what we're going to have here for our right view. And to start off with, we need the width of our right view, which we're going to get by projecting across onto our 45 degree line here from our top view. And then straight down, we'll project those lines down there. That tells us, of course, how wide our base is, so that we have the width. Of that right view and then the height will come here from our front view we'll project that across and of course the base across as well okay now remember that these circles over here since we're looking from the right hand side they're going to look like rectangles you won't have to draw any circles in over here okay but first of all we need to note that as we cut through the shape okay as we cut through it like that remember that part's coming off we're still going to see the outline of the shape, okay, and the entire top part of that shape, okay, as you can see here, is the same width all the way across. You can see that there in the top view. So we know that we're going to be able to see a dark line at the top over here, which is going to be the end part of our shape. We also know that we're going to be able to see a dark line at the bottom here, which will be the bottom of our shape as we look at it from the right and then even though we're cutting through the shape because we're looking from the right hand side we're still going to see the edges okay that edge point there and that edge point there okay if i mark them for you that edge point over there as well as that edge point there those two edge points are still going to be seen and they're going to form two dark lines over here okay on the side so we're going to draw those in as dark lines as well okay now 
as we cut through the shape you can see that I've now marked those two places there where it's cut you'll see that it's going to cut over there as well and it's going to cut a piece over there as well so those two corners over there we're going to see lines for them somewhere over here okay, and to find them of course we're going to have to project them across and down we're also going to need of course where each of these points gets cut you'll see that the cutting line goes through that line there it goes through over there goes through there as well as there that point over there that one we've already projected across we've already got a line for it we're still going to need those two we're still going to need those two over there and we're also going to have a place over here where it cuts through the shape so we're going to need that point as well somewhere over here okay and i'm going to start from the bottom and go up so we're going to start with looking as we remember we're looking from the right hand side we've already drawn in that baseline there which we will see because that baseline over there is going to be that corner over there okay now as we go up we're now going to see a line for that point there where it gets cut so if we project that across there okay we can go and draw in a dark line over here that we're going to see which is now the inside of this hole something you wouldn't see from the right hand side if this shape over here wasn't cut and then as we go up we are then going to see a line coming across from there where that cuts into that circle we're going to see another one coming through over here and we're going to see another one coming over there and then of course one coming from there but you'll see that i haven't drawn anything dark in there yet because we need to have a look here in our top view okay as to how far in these lines are going to be how long they are supposed to be because if we now go and have a look at the points where our cutting plane goes through our top view over here you'll see that for this big circle over here okay for that big circle there which we can see here okay for that big circle that's our cutting point over there for the big circle okay so because this is now cutting straight through this okay that big circle is going to form a line only up until there okay it's only going to form a line up until there because it's only that thick so we need to take that across onto our 45 degree line and we need to take it down okay and we're only going to draw a dark line now remember this is on the big circle that's the big circle size there we're only going to draw a dark line now on the edge of this big circle up until where it hits into that point that we've now projected across and down that's as far as it can go okay the same thing is going to happen at the bottom here of course because the top and the bottom are identical okay but then the same thing happens on this side as well we can see it over here we're going to have to take that corner we're going to have to project that across and down and the same thing is going to happen from projecting that we're going to again only have that small little piece that will go inside over there and then this small little piece over here okay okay now that's the the big hole that goes only that deep into our shape which we can see in our top view now the middle hole goes deeper okay so we can see that that middle hole is going to go deeper from that same line over there that we projected down so our middle hole which is over here we now know we're going to be able to draw in a dark line from the one end to the other end of that space because that's where we're going to see that middle hole and then there of course has got to be a connecting line between the two so there's going to be a dark line in over there and a dark line there as well as a dark line over here and there and there you should clearly be able to see that's the hole now that you can see when you cut this off and you look from the right hand side okay it's the same shape as the hole that you get in your top view okay and that's found from projecting that across and down now you'll see that i've got no dark line in over there or one over there now should it be there and the answer to that is yes it does have to be there but because even though we've cut this out we still see the back part of that circle 
you can still see the back part of that circle over there. That hasn't been cut away. And if you look from the right hand side there, you will still see an edge there, which in this view is going to be seen as a straight line. So because of that, we are going to have to draw in a dark line all the way down there and a dark line all the way down over here as well. Okay, because those two dark lines there and there represent the edge over there of that circle that you can still see. Okay, looking from that way, even though this part has been cut off. Okay, now we've got all that done. Now we have to go and decide what we're going to hatch. Because remember with a sectional view, which this is, we have to put in hatching. Okay, to indicate what's been cut through. And we're only going to hatch the parts that have actually been physically cut through as if you were cutting through the shape with a knife. So you'll see here that as I go along with my 45 degree set square, because that's the angle that I have to use okay, for my section lines. As I go through here, you'll see that my section lines stop when they hit into the edges of what would have been that hole. Okay, and the reason for that, of course, is because when you cut through that hole, you don't cut through the back of the hole. And because you're not cutting through the back of that hole, there won't be any section lines there because the back part, the curved part of that hole on the inside there, that's that curved part there. It does not get cut by that cutting line at all. That cutting line misses it. So that curved part there and this curved part here, they haven't actually been cut. But this flat surface over here and this flat surface at the bottom, those flat surfaces, they have been cut through. And so those flat surfaces do need to have our 45 degree cutting lines. Now you'll see, as I've said before, you need to make sure that you have a decently big gap between your cutting lines. Don't make them too close together, otherwise you're really wasting time and then also of course the gap must be big but not too big so we stick to not drawing a gap bigger than about seven millimeters my gaps that i've got here are approximately four millimeters apart and remember that they all have to be approximately the same distance apart as you go through now you'll see that the bottom there i've left that gap open as well now why have i left that open well, if you're looking from the right hand side here, has that surface there, has it been cut at all? It hasn't. You'll see that the cutting plane goes through here. That's where your cutting plane goes through. It doesn't cut that surface at all, so there won't be any section lines added in over there at all. And the last thing that we go and add in for the sectional right view, of course, are center lines through our cylinders. And that then completes your sectional right view. You'll see that I haven't included in any hidden detail for this part at the back there and that's because in these sectional views we don't include in hidden detail unless they tell us to. But because this over here is right at the back of the shape, it's blocked by everything else over here so you're not even going to see that hole at all.